morning everybody, it's your boy Death Row here again and today we're taking another look at Auto Blame. Yes, the ultimate version has been released. And by God, this is a huge update. Let's not muck around by chatting away. Let's get stuck in and have a look. Okay, let's go to fire up that evolution UI. As you can see there, I had 1700 and something PlayStation games. But this was, you know, there's some cooler stuff than PlayStation games. If you hit L2, select on your controller, it will bring up your retro boot information. And yes, folks, you can now within the UI load up other systems. Go down and have a look. Game Gear, Mega Drive, and there's quite a few there. Let's go into Super Nintendo. There we go. Not all games have the images. But I'd prefer to have the, the cover art. I'm probably going to work on that today. Instead of that with a screenshot. Cartridge and uh, box. To show you that it works. Let's dig into this game. It's, it's great how the play... You know, everyone was rubbishing the PlayStation Classic when it came out. Oh, God. This and that. But once the emulation scene got involved, once they were able to bypass protection and other things, it's probably the best classic system available at this stage. Let's look. There's the game. It's working. Now, to get out of this, you have to push select and start. Well, it could be to just been select. You have to do this with every game, unfortunately. You go quick retro arc, and it should bring us back to the previous screen. We just have to load. Uh, here we go. Look at that. So let's hit L2 and select again. Let's have a look at. Bottle Burn Alpha, I guess. Oh, no, we'll have a look at MAME. There we go, folks. Once again, I'd rather have better images so we're going to work on that pretty cool though isn't it grat grat to the guys out who, who work on auto blim a lot of a lot of good work being done it's absolutely helping the system sony will let everybody down people come along like this that actually brings life into the system let's have a look at trojan go. Used to play this game in the arcades many, many years ago. But I think I've got a lag I've got a lag on my yeah I do. So playing it like this isn't gonna be viable. huge huge lag so let's select and start circle takes you back to there go up quite retro arc with thank you very much and back to auto blame we go and it will revert us back to where we were great now to get out of auto blame back to the original hit the start button and we're back to the uh 
PlayStation selection of games. I mean, it's brilliant. I've got a two terabyte drive on my system. It's pretty cool. And that's it, folks. Is it? There's not much more I can say about. That's, that's a job well done. Uh, if you are looking to get a system to play classic games at the moment that's very, very uh, cheap, I would suggest a PlayStation Classic. But just remember, you can't just go and plug a USB 3 hard drive or, or something into it. There are limitations. There are o OTG adapters available that seem to help with with those issues I would recommend doing some research on that but once you've got everything going it's it's a breeze well folks it's your boy Death Row here I have to go thanks for tuning in give us a thumbs up tell us what games you're playing what classic system you prefer or do you prefer the old launch box or hyperspin on the shield or you know stuff like that let us know anyway folks we'll see you in the next video